artist gets himself set up, I'm going to say just a few wee words. The first thing is, I've had a message on my phone, very urgent message. I'm going to have to ask for your assistance. A friend of mine has asked, how do you cancel an eBay bid? <laughs> he needs to know within the next half hour or he's going to own the Tory party for £10. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let's be absolutely clear about this. Mrs. May may be a Prime Minister, but she's got no authority whatsoever. Yes. Mrs. May was never elected by this country. No. And we should be absolutely clear that one of the most significant, one of the most important reasons that we continue to fight for independence for Scotland is because Scotland will never vote for a Tory government. That's why we want independence. You have what Gwen had to tell you from a ground-breaking report never before had it been done that the Office of National Statistics actually examined the natural wealth of Scotland the natural wealth or land or oil or gas or water and the result of that examination is that 34% of the whole of the UK's natural wealth exists here in Scotland. 34%. Brothers and sisters, those of you, and how many of you have already walked out, these people in Westminster they don't want to hold on to us because we're too poor, too wee, or not smart enough to run our own affairs. They want to hold on to us because we subsidise them every single year. absolutely essential point that we are all in this square we are all in our local independence campaigns we all go on the marches we all go to the meetings because we believe in one thing we believe in independence for Scotland It is vital in this next few weeks and months that we remember what unites us. You see, there are some within the movement who understandably are frustrated, are impatient. Some people say, and I see it online, I don't care about Brexit too, I care about Indie Ref too. I share those frustrations. I believe the British state is one of the bloodiest, most brutal states that's ever existed on the planet. Wherever it has went, it has left a trail of blood and exploitation. That's what the British state represents to me. Brothers and sisters, I don't want to save the British state. I want to end the British state. Yeah. 
And that's why I think we together have to appeal to the SNP government. Please, you asked for a mandate in 2016 and we gave you. You had to debate in Parliament in March of 2017 and you won it. You then asked for a renewed mandate and the snap election of May 2017 and you won it. You have a triple lock mandate for Indy Ref 2. Brothers and sisters, when you are about to break a state, you don't ask them for permission. Yes. We have the mandate. We don't need Mrs. May's permission. Please, Nicola, listen to the movement. Call Andy Raptor! Yeah. Oh! All of the other questions, brothers and sisters, in our opinion, can be dealt with after independence. Some people want to be members of the European Union, and that's fine. Some people don't, that's fine. Some people want to retain the royal family. Some people say that we should have a, a slimmed down monarchy. I say, I'm not interested in putting them on a diet. I just don't want a monarchy at all. I want a modern, democratic republic. That's what we want in Scotland. Some people want to be in NATO, some people don't. Some people want a new currency, some people don't. Brothers and sisters, all of those questions, all of that debate is nothing but hot air until we get our independence. And that's why I would finish by asking each and every one of you, please, in this next few weeks, as Nicola begins to contemplate the next move, our move should not be to concentrate our energy, our skill, our talents on Brexit too. Our next move should be to concentrate our energy, our skill, our talent on Indy Ref 2. That's what we want. Loud and clear. Let's hear it. Use the mandate. Brothers and sisters, put your hands together for our next artist. Let's hear it for Bobby. Let's go, son! Yeah. 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 Yeah.